Hi guys, so today I am going to show you how you can control your Raspberry Pi using uh, web interface. That is, you don't have to create a new web interface, first one web interface which you could access directly by you signing up for first one. Just a single step. So, first let me show you. First, me, let me fire up this Raspberry Pi using Pi. Now I have already logged into my Raspberry Pi. I am going to show you. Okay, this is the program which I am talking about. This here was one public vt.py. And before I run it, I am going to show you how you can get this program. So, go to Google Chrome and uh, GitHub. Follow this link. I will put this link in the video description. Okay. So, uh, you have to go to this link and download this piece of code. Was one public version 2.py and what you can do is clone download and download zip now again i have this file so i'm not going to download download it okay simple you you know this block but i'm going to minimize it now coming here okay now i press enter and this program is starting okay now when i run this program it asks for a username and it will ask for a password now where will you get this username okay to get this username again uh, google chrome you can go to wastuwine.com okay uh, and going to wastuwine.com go to internet of things and it shows logged in as an MNF, but i have nothing to do with this go to this go to your home okay you are on the sign up page but you do not have a user ID so you can click here to create a new account yeah, and you can register here okay uh, I'm going to go back so you register here you get a user ID and password I already have a user ID and password so I'm going to show you with it okay my name okay and password okay, now it starts executing you can see uh, this is a time it's constantly changing uh, current time okay, you can see your method with this it's changing in milliseconds okay. and all of these are pin details and so it's on now seven pin on and on shows one eight off okay now now how can you change this okay okay again go to this wastwine.com signing page uh, type your password id password and log now you are in this your personalized page you can uh, feel free to make this anything you can configure it a lot case you are logged in then you may it i'm going to go to the classic mode okay so this is the layout of raspberry pi gpio pin let me show you uh, pin 3 so where is pin 3 you will find pin 3 pin 3 pin 3 oh. this is pin 3 pin 3 is 0 right now i am going to click on pin 3 okay. Pin three. Okay. you can see you have pin 2 pin 2 is 1 ok this may be because I, I have set pin 3 to do nothing so it's doing nothing right now I, I click on pin 2 again so pin 2 is 0 now again ok pin 2 again I click on pin 2 it's 1 pin 4 ok pin 4 is 1 pin 17 you can find pin 17 here Pin 17, I will click it once again. Pin 17 is 1 right now. Okay, it's very, very, very simple. I am going to log it out. Although it is not a reliable program. Okay, one thing to note. Okay, I am going to open it here. This is my ID. When you get this program and you log, sign up for this page, you are not going to get this uh, DB username and db password okay 
so what you have to do is after signing up you have to send an email to gad at com and send your username username and whatever it is and request db password okay you we'll send this mail to this address and you will get this both of this and then you can access it anytime anywhere for that okay this is last line's latest version it will come out in few weeks okay i think you enjoyed this video and we're looking ahead to use this area okay thank you